everybody, one of Weezum here. We've just taken a look at Stealth Stinger and the Burn Cycle, and now the party is officially going to start. We are going to take a look at Fiesta. Fiesta, of course, we've already taken a look at the GameStop exclusive Frightful Fiesta. Uh, we'll compare those guys here in a little bit. But uh, this is the packaging. Pretty nice. This, I can't resist it. What we've got going is a pole battle. Aesthetically speaking, I want to know, do you prefer Frightful Fiesta or Fiesta? This might be the most intense one we've got. Uh, and it's going to be interesting because people that like Fiesta are probably going to be drawn to the undead element, in particularly, even if they're not uh, necessarily fans of Ghost Roaster and Hex and Cinder, etc. They're going to be drawn to, like, you know, the skeletal, the mariachi, the festive theme that Fiesta has going. And so you've got those same elements there with Frightful Fiesta, but you also add in Halloween. And so for, like, the super hardcore undead people... I'm curious to see which side do you err on. Do you go with the traditional Fiesta? Or do you go with, like, the Halloween Fiesta who takes it up a notch? Do you consider that, if you're one of the hardcore Undead fans, is that too cheesy and you need the purest aspects here? Do you base it on the color aesthetics? I don't know how it's going to pan out. But I can't wait to see Skylander Club form. Uh, can be found at SkylanderClub.com. I'll have the link down below. I'm going to add one into Frightful Fiesta's video. Anybody can vote. I cannot stress that enough. You do not have to be a forum member to vote. So if you're four years old and watching the video and you love Fiesta and you can't stand Frightful Fiesta, go vote. If your parents are watching it with you and they're like, I don't know what you're talking about, son or daughter. Frightful Fiesta is way more fun than this guy. Let them vote too. Uh, tell everybody to vote. I want as many people as possible so we can get the best sample rates. You know, if it's like me and three other people, it's not that cool. But the more people you get, kind of like when I would do these in the SSA days, we'd have like three to 500 people in a poll battle. That is a solid sampling of what the community feels about the certain characters. This one is, it's tough though, like Stealth Stinger and Nitro Stealth Stinger. It's more of like a straightforward, uh, I prefer this over that. This is like... It's two great things, and it's just going to come down to the individual, I believe. So uh, I'm ecstatic to see how that pans out. But I'm also very excited to get Fiesta into the game. Uh, he is an undead element supercharger. His slogan, of course, it's party time. So uh, right there is, again, the artwork on the pack. In your hand on the portal in the game, that simple. There is his uh, inset box art. We'll come down here, throw them together with the Crypt Crusher, which is going to be unboxed next. You get the supercharged Crypt Crusher, which I can't wait to see that thing. Uh, and then right there, Deep Dive Gilgrunt, Shark Shooter Terrafin, Nightfall, and Astro Blast. So if you did not watch my unboxing of that guy, a lot of people have enjoyed it. Uh, more people could relate to it. When I recorded it, I was like super tired launch day. And uh, I was afraid people would think I was crazy. I just felt sorry for me for being that tired. But uh, I talk about mariachi, shopping at Mervyn's as a young child. Uh, how there's actually people that dress like that where I live still to this day that are not in mariachi bands. Um, all kinds of stuff is covered there. So check it out if you have not. I think you might enjoy it. So, uh, And I think I referenced the pole battle would be coming. And now we can kind of push that a little more. So, oh, nice. It is not taped on the plastic, and it is not taped on the toy. And I'll do everything in my power to not drop this stat card on the floor. So, mission accomplished. All right, we got it taken care of. So, let's just start with the stat card. This is Fiesta's stat card slash sticker sheet. Um, as sort of like the hardcore Skylander Portal Master, I feel like I have to represent you people. And uh, the vast majority of people that watch my videos, which tend to be the detail-oriented ones of you out there, absolutely devastated that there is no stat card. And uh, I feel for you because I have a notebook, like a binder, you know, three-ring binder, dedicated to the stat cards. And they were sorted alphabetically uh, by element, by game. It's very elaborate. I should probably show you what I've done sometime. But I had the stat card on this side, and then when you flip the page, I had the sticker sheet, right? So I had my web codes or whatever handy. And uh, I can't do that anymore because we, it's gone. The, st the stat card is gone. So um, as much as I wanted in-game stats to be applied, I didn't want it to just, like, go away. But uh, we do kind of have stats for what that's worth. But... Uh, 
Anyway, that's the artwork. Pretty cool. It always is with the undead element. And he just pops very, very nicely against kind of like the grayscale background. So whatever you want to do with these, collection poster, uh, wall, lockers at school, notebooks, uh, if you still want to archive it like I will. Um, come in here. We've got 170 on power. 135 on the armor, 145 agility, and 250 luck. Now, to get the pole battle started, let's bring in Frightful Fiesta. Again, this is going to be a seriously intense pole battle. I'm beyond excited about it. Uh, what we can see from the stat cards, there is a difference, and it is considerable, and it favors Frightful every step of the way. So, uh, power plus 60 for Frightful Fiesta, 230 versus 170. Uh, armor is the same. The mariachi suit, it doesn't matter what the embellishment color is, it's good for 135. Uh, 145 agility standard, 165 frightful, you've got that plus 20 creeping power. And then luck, 250 versus 270, meaning this guy goes to the door, he gets an apple and a toothbrush. Frightful goes to the door, he gets Snickers, Reese's, and a Hershey's bar. So... Kind of a big deal there, I guess. So that's how these two guys stack up head-to-head -head on the stat cards. And uh, in the pole battle, it's exclusively aesthetics. And it's going to be intense. Cannot wait. So let's go ahead and free him. Don't grab him by the horn. That's not cool. Uh, what we want to do is break this seal here. It's 45 degrees. Again, no tape. Actually, it was taped. Interesting. So I stand corrected. But what we'll do is just pop him up from the base. Worked beautifully. No damage done awesome awesome figure one of the things that i like the best is just with the skeletal structure kind of being that turquoise color not only does it tie in well with the uh <clears throat> festive theme like i can go to a mexican restaurant here and there's like bird baths painted in this color there's all kinds of like skull and it's i see this stuff all the time basically where i live so it's right on par whoever came up with it uh now right here on the rift engine the timing cover you got the undead element logo <clears throat> he is planted sort of across the plenum onto the valve cover. Uh, his spurs are golden in this case, as is the trim on his boot. Coming underneath, you have got the Undead Element logo. I absolutely love the way the bones crawl up around the back side of the Rift Engine. Uh, he's got red here, uh, kind of adorning everything as opposed to the silver that you see on Frightful down there. Very nice detail here and something I've come to expect. Quite honestly, it's been done so well. Elemental logo on a belt buckle, uh, an armor strap, whatever it may be. In this case, it's a belt buckle. That is an undead skull. There you go. You can see it. Amazing little camera trick there, was it not? All right, now the sombrero, a key element to any successful mariachi member. He's got the strap right there. You cannot let your hat blow away, particularly windy where the mariachis thrive. And the last thing you want to do is be that guy chasing your sombrero. You can see here. It's probably gotten away from him a few times, and that's how it's sustained this uh, edge damage. But <laughs> uh, nonetheless, coming around, he's got the trumpet. I like the playful effect here, so it's sort of like, you know, a clown toy or something. Uh, and then, of course, you got the trumpet itself. And right here, the, in, the real detail that shines for most people is going to be the skull. Uh, when I was at Target Skylander hunting uh, the last few times... They're moving towards this. Like, this is something you used to only see in, like, the flea markets and, like, you know, certain parts of town. And now, like, this is mainstream now, apparently. So, I guess, like, Day of the Dead is, like, gaining steam or something. But uh, you actually can purchase things like this. And uh, it looks pretty cool. Even with the white and the red going down. And then, again, the skeletal structure. You can see the jawbone and the neck there. Uh, pretty cool. And to me, this looks like a strap. Since it's there and the sombrero has a strap. I'm kind of, I keep wondering if that isn't like maybe, if you picture that swiveling up and we're carrying it around like a Halloween candy bucket or something, I don't know for sure, but it is interesting. Uh, the nose itself kind of looks like an upside down heart. I'm trying, I think you could sort of see it there. So it's almost got like that, you know, Joker wild card effect going, at least that's what I take from it. Now in game... Fiesta's base stats, max health 230, speed 50, armor 6, critical hit 4, elemental power 25. I'm excited to see how these guys' actual in-game stats compare. Uh, what we will do, though, real quickly, is cover his background story while we kind of spin him around for you. Despite being undead, that's the greatest beginning to a story you could possibly have. Despite being undead, Fiesta had always been the life of the party. 
He was once the head member of a popular mariachi band in the personal court of Count Moneybone, super cool villain from Swap Force 3DS, back now in the Superchargers with Vicarious Visions Blessings. And he makes an early appearance, I believe in Chapter 4 you can start seeing him. Uh, but Count Moneybone, who all undead citizens respected immensely. In his spare time, Fiesta and his bandmates played music for all of the new arrivals that entered the underworld. However, a day came when the new arrivals were actually several Skylanders who had come on a mission to stop Count Moneybone from unleashing a robot army on all of Skylands. Fiesta then realized that he, like so many others, had been fooled by the evil Count into thinking he was kind and generous, not the vengeful monster he truly was. Unbeknownst to the Skylanders, Fiesta and his bandmates helped to distract the robot army so they could infiltrate Moneybone's mansion and put a stop to him. Even though the Skylanders were unaware, this act of bravery and defiance did catch the attention of Master Eon, who, as you might have expected, recruited him to become a Skylander. So, pretty cool background story there. We've covered that. We've gone over him in detail. Slogan once again, it's party time. And uh, he's just an awesome looking character. I was excited when I saw his renderings back. I think it was the E3 batch of press material that was sent out. Totally fun, pretty unique take. You got uh, like a rattle shake back there, sort of has the, kind of the Wild West vibe with him. This is kind of a similar thing to that with more of like, I guess, kind of like an upbeat festive Latin twist, if you will. So uh, I'm excited to get him in the game. I'm excited to see how they compare head to head statistically. Basically, what does Frightful add numerically to our base stats is what I'm interested in. But what I cannot wait to see how this pans out, and it should be pretty heavily popular up through Halloween, I want to know. Aesthetically speaking, which version of Fiesta do you prefer better and why? Once again, you can leave your comment here, you can kind of consider it a vote, but please go to the forum and vote SkylanderClub.com. I'll have a link at the top of the video description box. I'll put it right at the top for you. All you have to do is vote. You do not have to be a registered member to vote. You can get all your friends to vote. I don't care if you get your grandma's computer out and vote. Whatever you have to do to vote for your favorite, do it. Uh, if you like what you see on the forum, sign up. Tell everybody who you voted for and why. You can debate it, meet new friends, find someone to race online with, whatever. But please vote on the forum. If you don't have an interest in signing up on the forum, head there, vote, and then come back to the comment section here and let me know which one you picked and why. I think this is going to be really, really interesting. So I might even make a standalone video on it. I'm not sure. But again, Frightful Fiesta GameStop exclusive here in the U.S., kind of our Halloween Skylander. Excellent selection. Props to whoever pulled that one off. And then I still think Roller Brawl would have been good too, but she got Legendary. So given that, between Legendary and Halloween, I would have done the same thing. So uh, that said, this one was more about Fiesta himself in standard affair form. So uh, I'm going to get him introduced as quick as I can. We're going to unbox the Crypt Crusher. Check out my unboxing of Frightful Fiesta. It's apparently pretty funny. I guess the combination of random stuff I interjected and how tired I was. Uh, but some of you can relate to it, which was unexpected, so uh, that's always reassuring. Nonetheless, thanks so much for watching. For myself and Fiesta, we will catch you back here for more Skylander Superchargers unboxings.